for this Christmas Day and I want everybody here today to know all the wonderful things that I am learning about my religion and I want everybody here to receive the Holy Spirit like I have dear Lord my God and I want everybody this is what Christmas is all about gathering together as a family that what it is all about we gotta keep the Christmas in your word and please give me the words to help everybody here understand all that I am learning and let the fire in them be lit too dear Lord my God like you are lighting it in myself and in Henry please let's say the words our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, this is the fourth candle. This is... The first candle of, there's four Sundays in December. This is the first candle of the first Advent, the second Advent, the third, and the fourth, which is Christmas Day. Okay, I'm going to light it. <laughs> she forgets how she used to do it when she used to <laughs> okay, let me read you the meaning. The Advent wreath. Since light is the most powerful symbol of the Advent season, it seems appropriate that an Advent wreath, which is here, um, the Advent season, that an Advent wreath be used during the four Sundays of Advent at our church services. It is also a good way to make family time more prayful and spiritual at home. It is thought that the Advent wreath idea may have came from a pagan ritual used by the sun-worshipping tribes of northern Europe. Before they knew Christ, these people worshipped the sun god. During the winter, when the days are so short, the people thought that they could appease their gods by sacrificing the use of their cartwheels by using it to light candles on and begging the sun gods to return them. With time, the Christmas began using this idea, except they adapted it to our time of waiting for our Savior to come and bring us out of the darkness of sin into the light of our salvation in Jesus Christ. This tradition helps us to keep the real meaning of Christmas in perspective. The Advent wreath celebrates our conviction that Christ will always come into the world as its true light. Some of the symbolism is as follows. Each of the four candles represent approximately a thousand years of waiting for the promise of our Savior to be fulfilled. The colors of the candles are purple and rose colored. The purple colors represent the spirit of penance and prayer for the spirit of conversation and repentance that marks the Advent season. The rose colored candle to be lit the third Sunday of Advent represents the joy we feel that the Lord is always near. The evergreens are a sign of our hope for salvation. Green is also the church also the church's color for hope. The circular shape the circular shape symbol represents the coming of the Lord in the past, present, and future. For Advent read to be used in a home weekly Lighting could take place before or after the family attends Mass together or during a family meal. It could also take place during the family prayer time. Family members might take turns lighting the candles, offering the prayers or reading of passages from the scriptures. A blessing of the Advent wreath might be used at the beginning of the fourth week period. The blessing of the Advent wreath. Okay, I'm going to say this. The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. And all of you, I want you to say, 
Upon those who dwell in the land of gloom, a light has shone. Upon those who dwell in the land of gloom, a light has shone. Okay, now I'll read this. Today we begin to prepare through prayer and works of charity for the coming of the Lord at Christmas. Let us ask God's blessing upon this wreath that we will make to mark the days until the Lord's coming. Can we? Ha and I want you guys to bow your head and silently pray. Okay. Let us pray. Father, all creation and Lord of light, bless our wreath of evergreens and candles. Be present among us as we come together to celebrate in scriptures and prayers the coming of Christ. May our hearts and minds reflect the lights of these candles that Christmas will find us joyfully ready to receive the Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ all. Amen. 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 Um, Henry, you can blow out the candle. Are you sure I won't? Blow it out. <laughs>